role, if any, do you feel the Jewish news may have played, perhaps continues to play, in keeping the Detroit Jewish community that highly regarded, highly respected Jewish community that others often still aspire to want to be like? It's, it's a profound influence, Arthur. Um, I think, uh, thinking back uh, about all of the events that took place during the course of just 10 years, um, I recall there were such, so many leaders of our community who looked to the Jewish news, to Phil Slamovitz, um, for guidance. Um, the community was, was famous throughout the states, but beyond as well. I think Israel came to know Detroit as being a phenomenal friend of, of Israel, and, uh, and its leadership was, uh, you know, beyond comparison. It was just, so. If, is there an anecdote, is there an example uh, from either your time at the Jewish News or just as an observer of the community and the interface between the community and the Jewish News that, that just kind of stand out uh, as uh, tangible examples of the, the role that you see the Jewish News and Phil Slomovitz having played on influencing the overall Jewish community? Well, you know, Arthur, that 1967 was a seminal year. It was a, uh, an incredible year for the Jewish community and, and of Detroit. Um, you know, if you, if you think about uh, July of 1967 and uh, the riot uh, in Detroit, I was, I was covering, a, I was interviewing uh, an author whose name I forget at the, the Northland Inn on the top floor, and we looked out the window, and he said, what's that smoke coming from? I said, that's downtown Detroit. Well, it turned out, as you know, to be the riot that began then. Um, the response of the community, the support that, that the Jewish News gave in ter terms of um, relating the issues and, and uh, helping people who, were, uh, you know, who lost their businesses, who lost their homes, uh, the relationship was very strong. But going from kind of a, a negative happening to something that was spectacular, of course, we think of the Six Day War. And um, that was in June, that was the month before. And um, Phil had just come back from, uh, from Israel. And so he was being asked to, to speak at all the various rallies and so on. Uh, the most notable rally, which was reported heavily in, in the Jewish news, uh, was 6,000 people showed up at the Jewish Community Center on Myers and Seven Mile uh, for a rally uh, in support of Israel that was already getting ready for disaster. Actually, it was toward, toward the end. And um, it was really uh, kind of... Um, well, I, w I was very proud of that paper anyway. <laughs> this was in, in the 60s, early 60s, and, and a little old lady, at least she seemed like a little old lady to me at the time, came into the office and she said, we have got to get apartments for us older people. We've got to. Her name was Leah Rubel, and I will never forget her. And um, there had been maybe talk, but no one was particularly interested, but um, she got the attention of, um, of Leonard Simons. And Leonard Simons and his very influential friends kind of thought this woman had something to say. And we wrote the story about her and what she had to say. And uh, it continued. It, I think it took another five years before we did it. But, you know, the, the uh, apartments for Jewish adults, um, senior adults, came about. And of course, today, you know, we have several buildings that are for them. And, uh, it showed how one person, one reader, if you will, uh, could have influenced the course of, of our local Jewish history. And that comes to mind. I was proud to be part of that, too. But if you could look out as best you could 10 years from now, what do you see? What, what does our Jewish community potentially look like? No guarantees. And the role that the Jewish news has played that you've seen over its first 75 years what role might it play, continue to play, maybe a different role that it might play in the coming years? Well, uh, I'm an optimist, 
And uh, one reason for my optimist, uh, optimism rather, is, um, is the Detroit Jewish News Foundation. I think uh, what you are providing to the community for the future is a look into the past and what made us great. And I think that um, I'm, very, I'm, I'm very optimistic about the future. I, th I think that we have strong um, activism among our young people. I see it coming, many coming from out of town, coming back. Um, our leadership is extraordinary. It always has been and it continues to be. Uh, I think the Jewish news will be, uh, will be strong and perhaps in a different form than we know now. Um, but it has made adjustments over time and it'll make more adjustments where needed. Uh, and I believe that the Jewish news will survive in a very good way into the future.